Hello everyone, my name is Akash and I welcome you all to this channel. So friends, I hope that you are liking this polyfill series and if yes, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. So friends, in this particular video, we will be writing the polyfill for array.flat method. So let's suppose that you are given this array as an input. We have one array and inside that particular array, we have one more array. And the interview says that you have to provide this as output. That is, you have to flatten this nested array. So what we can do is we can make use of array.flat method like this let's have a look at the output now so this will be the output and is it is as expected so friends this array dot flat method it also takes the depth as an argument so let's suppose if i'm passing one so our output will look same because by default if you are not passing the depth it defaults to one so friends now let's suppose our array have one more level of nesting cool so now let's see what will be the output so the output looks something like this. Okay. Now let's suppose we have to like flatten this array completely and we have, we want the output like this. So we are going to increase the depth and it looks something like this. Cool. So we are getting the output as expected. So friends, I hope that you have noticed one thing that this array dot flat method, it also returns the copy of the array. Cool. So now let's start writing the polypin. So in order to start writing the polyfill, we need to add this flat method to this prototype property of this array constructor so that all other array instances can have access to this flat method. And I will be naming this as my flat method. Okay. And this will be function over here. And, and the argument that it is going to accept will be depth. Cool. So friends, now let's see how we're going to call it. So this is our array and let's copy it. So let's copy it and let's uh, write my flat and it will be callable in this particular manner. Let's comment it. And now what we are going to do is let me show you. So friends, we have to run a loop over this particular array. So for that, we need to access this array inside this function. So how we are going to do that? We can have access to this inside with the help of this keyword. So let's have a look at this keyword over here. And cool, as we can see, we are getting our array inside our function. So now what we can do is first let have a check over here that will check if we are calling it on an array or not. So if array dot is array and over here we are going to pass our this and we are going to check whether it's an array or not. If it is not an array that we are going to throw an error. And let's try if our uh, this particular case is working or not. So let's try to add a string over here and let's see what we will get. Cool. So friends, we got this error that is this dot flat is not a function. Cool. Now what we are going to do is let's remove the string from here first. Now what we need to do is we simply need to run a loop on our for each. Cool. We are going to run a loop on our for each. And before that, what I've told you that this array dot flat method, it returns a copy of the array. So let's remove this console log and take one resultant array that will store the resultant, basically the result. And finally, what we are going to do is we are going to do is return this final result from our function. And this is the for each. So we, it will be, we are going to run this loop, something like this. And inside this loop, what we are going to check is that if this particular element that we are getting over here is array or not this particular element and if our depth is greater than zero then we are going to perform some function else what we are going to do if let's suppose we are iterating this particular array and if it is not another array it is simply a primitive object then what basically it is simply a primitive value then what we are going to do is we are going to simply push it into our resultant array something like this but but if it is an array then what we are going to do is friends we are going to use recursive method over here okay so what we are going to do is response dot push we are going to call this element is an array so we are going to call our my flat method again recursively and with the depth minus one 
and this array dot flat method okay this complete method now this complete method is going to return us another array so we are going to spread this particular array so friends let's have a look if it is working or not cool as we can see it has given us the expected result that we wanted so let's try to tweak it a little bit cool so friends it is working as expected now now friends i hope this particular piece of code is clear to you all and if not then let's try to understand the recursion how it is working so what is happening over here is uh, as we can see we have got this and this is nothing but this array so we are running a loop on this array and we have this empty array over here that is our result what we are doing is if it is not a non primitive value then we are simply pushing it into the result or else what we are going to do is we are going to simple like let's suppose at this particular index for the sake of understanding let's simplify this array one level only okay so now this particular array we have got this particular array over here we have checked that yes it is an array then what we are going to do is we are going to call it recursively and we are going to reduce the depth by one and when it is going to call this function again it is going to get this resultant array as empty over here and it is going to push what will happen is the this particular for each will run again for this particular array and three and four will be pushed into this resultant array and as a result it will result this particular three comma four to its parent caller and finally we will get this resultant array so friends i hope this much is clear and if not don't skip the video because i am also going to show you a small ppt so let's have a look so friends this is that small ppt what is happening over here is that we have this function okay and it was getting called using this particular array particular nested array so what is happening is first this response is empty array then after the two iteration first iteration and second iteration the array got filled in such a manner now then the third item was the array itself so what happened is now the now it went for the recursive call it called the my flat function again then as you can see this code started from this particular line now it got this array empty again and it filled it with 3 comma 4 now once this function was you know out of the stack it returned back to its parent caller this output and now what we have done over here is we have simply spread it into this particular array that was actually containing 1 comma 2 so the finally final result that we got was 1 2 3 4 so friends i hope that that particular ppt that i've just shown you is clear and this code also is clear to you all so friends if you have liked the content and got to learn something new so don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you for watching